Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube video ad campaign that you can run to get your video ad in front of other videos on YouTube. We'll be walking you through from start to finish. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look right here. As you can see, this is a YouTube ad campaign that I've set up in Google AdWords. It has our URL we wanna bring people to. It has our video, which is just some stock footage I put together, um, example for an exercise course. And as you can see, this is what it looks like on desktop. We can also see what it looks like on mobile. So how do these ads actually work in real life? Well, if we take a look here, you can see an example of our advertisement. Let's say somebody's watching a video on how to exercise. Instead of going to that video, they're first gonna see our advertisement for this mock exercise course in front of that video they were gonna watch on YouTube. As you can see here, before their video loads, it is our video advertisement, complete with a link to enroll in the course, a banner, and of course, an additional link at the bottom. So if you see, they click the call to action link, they're gonna go directly to that page. Now we have this just hooked up as click funnels right now, but of course you can add in your own page as you would like. So let's take a look here and see how you can actually set up your own YouTube video ad just like this that will run in front of other videos on YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into Google AdWords and show you exactly how this works. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're in Google AdWords is you're gonna to wanna to hook up your YouTube channel with your AdWords account. Now, if you don't have an AdWords account yet, you can go to adwords.google.com, sign up for a new account. And once you've done that, you're gonna click this little tool button at the top right, and then you're gonna to go to Audience Manager, just like so. Now, once you're in Audience Manager, you're gonna to go to Audience Sources, and then under Audience Sources, you're gonna see YouTube. So click Details, and then click Edit, the top right, edit source, and then you're gonna be able to add a new YouTube channel. When you click that button to add a channel, it'll walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to link your YouTube channel with your AdWords account. As you can see, we've linked a couple of channels here, one of them being my AppFind channel with 300,000 subscribers, so that's gonna be a good resource. But you can also hook up your own uh, YouTube channel, even if you're just starting out as well, because that's gonna let you run ads for those videos. So once you've done that, and of course you have your video uploaded, so this is just a video we put together with some stock footage. Obviously we're not selling an exercise course. This is just the example for you today. Take a look right here. And so once we've done that, we are gonna wanna set up a conversion on our website. So again, we're gonna go to the tools area. We're gonna go to under measurement conversions and then click on website. And this is very similar to a Facebook conversion pixel you might be familiar with. You just put in the conversion name, the category, so whether it's a sale, sign up, et cetera. And then once you hit create and continue, you're gonna be able to actually get the conversion tag that you could put on your site. Um, let's just put in test for now, and then I'll show you how this works. Let's say this is a purchase. Um, we're just gonna not use a value right here. Create and continue. And then as you can see, we have our global site tag, which acts similarly to a pixel on Facebook. And we also have the event snippet at the bottom. And this is the same as a conversion action on Facebook. So if you're familiar with Facebook, you can apply that knowledge to uh, setting up your YouTube conversions. So once you have these on the page that you want people to convert on, so this will be on the thank you page after people have gone and signed up, purchased your product, whatever it happens to be, now you're ready to actually create your YouTube video ad. And this is where the magic happens. So we're gonna dive in and take a look at how to set up your YouTube ad campaign from scratch. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more on YouTube advertising, I highly recommend taking a look at our webinar on how to create successful YouTube video ads. Not just how to create an ad like we're showing you here, but also the video, how to capture people's attention, how to create a winning ad that will convert, and we're also gonna show you some more advanced tips and strategies for your ad campaigns and how to optimize ad campaigns. So you can click the link right here on the screen to sign up. All right, let's dive back in and take a look at how to set up your YouTube video ad. So inside of AdWords, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click the new plus ad campaign button. So what this is gonna do is allow you to create a new campaign uh, on your AdWords account. Now you've got kind of the usual suspects here, search, uh, display, um, app campaigns, but what we want is a YouTube video campaign. So it's just listed as video. 
And then for conversions, if we're optimizing for conversions, we always do product and brand consideration. That's telling YouTube that, hey, we wanna make sure that people come in and purchase our product or service. So what we're gonna do is scroll down, just have it be standard consideration, and then click continue. So once you've done that, it's gonna take just a couple of seconds to load. And once you've done that, you're gonna be able to actually create the ad itself. So now we're gonna be able to create the ad itself. So as you can see, we could just put in a campaign name. So this will just be the exercise course. Uh, of course, this will be whatever you are advertising at this time. Choose a daily budget. Usually I like to start off you know, 50 to $100 or so um, just to give it enough momentum right off the bat. Under delivery method, always keep it standard. That's very important. And then you could choose an S start and end date if you'd like. I usually just start it right away and then monitor it and turn it off um, when I don't need it anymore. So for networks, you're always gonna wanna get rid of video partners on the display network. And this is actually kind of a golden nugget for you guys because if you don't remove this, then your ad is gonna appear in mobile apps and flash sites. It's just not as high quality of traffic as YouTube uh, itself. So you just wanna really be on the YouTube desktop and mobile platform. All right, so let's scroll down here. I also do this as well. I choose only the language I'm speaking in the video um, because even if you're targeting someplace like the United States, there are people that speak other languages and I just don't wanna spend that extra money if they don't speak the language I'm speaking. Um, and then you can of course choose your locations. United States is perfect for this uh, example. Always keep the bidding strategy maximum CPV. Now, additional settings, and this is what a lot of people won't show you, um, but it's very important to enable frequency capping because what this means is you don't want your ad to appear so many times you to pay for so many different views for people to watch your ad. I don't frequency cap the impressions because impressions are free. You only pay on YouTube if somebody watches at least 30 seconds of your ad. So I get a lot of people asking me, well, what about the skip button? Somebody skips your ad, you don't actually pay. You only pay if somebody watches your ad at least 30 seconds or if they click on it. So what I like to do is limit the number of views, the number of time I actually pay, because a view is counted as above 30 seconds. And I usually do this to around three or four, and then I set this per month. Uh, of course, this is up to you, but I just don't wanna spend extra money if I don't need to. All right, so we're gonna scroll down here, and now we can create our new ad group. So I'm just gonna call this again, um, the exercise keywords, because that's what we're gonna be targeting here. And setting up the maximum CPV, maybe something like 12 cents. You guys, again, are gonna want to uh, experiment with this, see what makes the most sense. That's how much you're paying per view uh, every time somebody views your advertisement on YouTube. Again, you can go into demographics, see what makes the most sense. This is for weightlifting, so we're gonna have a male demographic and we're probably gonna take off the older end of the spectrum, so 18 to 44, male, and that's really all we're gonna do there for this example. Um, audiences, you can play around with this. This is really cool. You can take a look here and see, uh, let's say affinity, we're looking for um, you know, exercise. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of examples here uh, when this loads, just one second. Actually, this is probably gonna be more fitness. It's probably less fitness. So we look up fitness here. There we go, yeah. So sports and fitness, uh, health and fitness buffs, um, you know, running enthusiasts. Well, maybe not running, let's see here. Yeah, so health and fitness, sports and fitness. There's also some gym ones I had looked at before. Add in a couple of audiences that you think are gonna work well, and then you're gonna add in some keywords. Now again, you wanna experiment with what works and doesn't work. This is a very basic example. If you want some more advanced tips and techniques, sign up for the webinar. You can click the link on the screen. We're gonna go over more in depth uh, in that webinar. And also, if you're watching this video right now, there is a webinar coming up soon. So take a look at that. All right, so let's just add in some keywords here. So along the lines of exercise, you know, bodybuilding, weightlifting, you're gonna want to go on YouTube, take a look at some keywords. Actually, in our webinar, we show you uh, a special tool that you can use to find the best keywords as well. So I recommend taking a look at that. Uh, that's gonna give you some examples. But you just throw in some keywords here, and if these keywords are in a video on YouTube, you're gonna be able to get your ad in front of that video. So that example we showed you earlier, right here where this ad is playing in front of another video, it's playing because those keywords were a match. So somebody who's interested in 
fitness is watching this video that has an exercise or bodybuilding keyword. And that's how that works. Um, so once we do that, we can scroll down and here comes the magic part. We're going to actually create the video ad. And it's a lot easier than you may think. So we're just gonna grab our exercise course video from over here and pop it into AdWords like so. And as you can see, it pops up right here with our video. And we're gonna choose in-stream ad because that's the ad that plays before other videos on YouTube. And if you take a look here, you can see that it's on mobile and desktop. And what we're gonna do now is just add in our URL. For example, this is gonna be clickfunnels.com. Uh, but of course, this will be whatever your URL is. You can send people to your funnel, you can send people to your sales page, your webinar, whatever it happens to be. Like we're using this video ad to send people to our webinar. There's all kinds of different uh, conversions that you can send people to. And then I like to add a image. Again, this is something that not a lot of people use, but it's really valuable, I've found. So if you take a look here, I can add the number one exercise course image that I made right up here at the top right. And as you saw earlier, um, that actually displays right here on AdWords. Now here's a cool thing. Somebody skips the ad and they start watching the video. So this is just a demo, but let's say for instance, this is uh, somebody else's exercise video, one of my competitors. This exercise course banner will maintain at the top of the video for the entire video that they watch, which is great. So let's go back over here and take a look. And then all that's left is just naming this as our exercise course video ad, just like so. Hit save and continue, and then watch this. I'm gonna show you how you can view this and make sure that it's working. So if we go into exercise keywords, and this ad will launch once it gets approved, we're gonna go over here to the little uh, pen tool or the edit tool. We're gonna click preview, and this is what I did earlier to show you the other advertisement. And one second, well, it loads, there we go. You can preview it on mobile, send it to your mobile device. We're just gonna do desktop for now, click preview ad and then watch this. As you can see, our advertisement loads in front of another video on YouTube. And this is your ad where you can get people really excited. You can tell them to go ahead and click the link. Um, again, you're not just gonna wanna use music like we have here. You're gonna actually want to incorporate something else into your video. Uh, we actually have a technique uh, that actually makes sure that your video will get the most conversions possible. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, click the link right here on this video to sign up for our webinar. That's where we show you how to create high converting video advertisements. We even show you an example of one of the video ads we're running right now for one of our clients that's getting them a 17 times return on investment. That's right, every dollar they put in gets out $17. So we're gonna show you exactly how we did that, how we run YouTube advertisements. You can click the link again right here on the screen to sign up for our webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.